Cayman Islands government is by far the largest employer in the Cayman Islands. Therefore, I think we should be setting the standard uh, for promoting gender equality, and we should, we should take the lead in establishing best practices when it comes to gender equality and to filling any gaps that have been identified recently. When it comes to discussing gender equality issues uh, within the education system and, and, and other areas of responsibility within our ministry, I think it's important to say that we need to put things in a context. And the particular context is to say that we believe that it's important that whether it's students, um, individuals in the civil service context or in the private sector, can actually work in environments free of harassment or discrimination uh, in areas that are protected either under the Cayman Islands Bill of Rights, the gender equality law, or in the labor law itself. So that, that's really our aspiration and our goal. Gender equality, gender issues are part and parcel of that dedication and commitment to establishing these types of workplaces. Gender refers to the roles and attributes and behaviors that define what's appropriate and what's valued in a boy and a girl or in a woman and in a man. And our gender ideology is our subjective experience of, of who we are as people. Our sex is different, that's our physical realities. And gender affects boys and girls differently when they're in school. Uh, gender in Western societies is often seen as a binary where masculinity is on one end and femininity is on the other end. They're seen as very different and opposed to each other. And these ideas about what it means to be a boy and a man are often at the root of a boy's underachievement in educational systems and are some of the reasons why we're seeing that as females have improved in educational access and retention, that males have relatively gone on the decline. It is important that the civil service uh, follow best practices when it comes to uh, non-discrimination and equal treatment. It has been shown that employers who uh, promote uh, gender equality and family-friendly policies are able to retain uh, their, their employees and, and attract uh, the best and the brightest uh, uh, employees. So I think that that is something that we would want to pay very close attention to, that we would want to be the leader in, in terms of how we develop our, our staff, how we involve both genders in our decision-making processes. I think it's important to hear from men and women uh, when we are making policies to ensure that they are uh, representative of both sexes. As you're aware, our ministry covers not just education but also employment and because of the labor law, uh, you know, it, it, we, we, we have a reach that, that takes us into the private sector workplaces. In the labor law, it is, it is against the law to discriminate on many of the same areas or, or areas that are protected under the, the Bill of Rights. The civil service has has put forward a number of initiatives. Uh, we, are, we, have, we have produced a orientation video which uh, promotes the gender equality law and which educates new civil servants on the need to, to non-discriminate on the basis of sex and pregnancy and, 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 and other areas. We feel that it's very important for new civil servants to um, be advised very early on the importance of non-discrimination based on gender. I think as a community we need to, to tackle these issues in a broader context. It is about establishing workplaces, whether they're in our schools, in the private sector, in our government service, that are free of discrimination and harassment. If we work to achieve that, if we achieve that goal, then all of these other issues will, 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 will drop away and we will be focusing on developing the potential and give an opportunity for each and every individual, male or female or any other uh, area, uh, to, to contribute to their potential. I think that that's, that's what matters and that's what's important. And also also check out our website which is genderequality.gov.ky to learn more about these gender gaps in areas like education and the labor force and what we can do as individuals, as employers, as parents, um, as community partners to really ensure equality of opportunity and to promote gender equality in our own lives. Mm -hmm.